So it's Sunday, playoff football, and it's time to cook some meat. I got some friends coming over, we'll watch the games, have a good time. You know, I think everybody's got video of them recorded, you know, of them uh, cooking chicken breasts and steak and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna do a little bit different. Um, so a meat source maybe a lot of you guys don't think about, and that is um, pork tenderloin, which is one of my favorite things to eat. So I got two nice sized pork tenderloins here. A lot of people don't know that pork tenderloin is about as lean as chicken. So if you look here, for four ounces, you've got two and a half grams of fat and 23 grams of protein, no carbohydrate. That is really lean. And that's as lean or leaner than a lot of chicken breasts out there. And it tastes delicious, but you have to marinate it. Uh, well, you don't have to marinate it, but it tastes much better when you do. And by far, my favorite marinade is Allegro. And it's also very macro friendly. Now, I live in Florida and I get this at Publix. I don't know if you guys may have it where you are. If you can't get it there, maybe go to Amazon and try to order it. Um, I know up north in the Midwest, Schnucks has it, but uh, a lot of marinades are really high in fat. That is not the case with Allegro. It's only five calories per tablespoon. So it's only one gram of carbohydrate, no fat. So again, very macro friendly. Um, and actually it's, it's half uh, carbohydrate and half protein. Now it does have a little bit higher sodium, but if those of you have kidney issues or you have you know any kind of salt sensitivity, maybe watch that. But um, for 95% of the population, that's not an issue. Salt's not bad for you. It's not uh, something you need to really worry about. Um, whatever you eat today, you're just excrete tomorrow. So I love this marinade. You can literally burn meat and the inside will still be tender. It's, it's the most amazing marinade. Yeah, it'll make a plain chicken breast taste like a delicacy. It, it is really, um, I cannot tell you how great this stuff is. So the way I usually do it is I'll take the pork tenderloin, put it in a Ziploc bag, and then I'll put the marinade in over it. And yes, I know there's going to be jokes about it looking like a big old meat turd, but hey, it tastes great. I just yank that out of there. I've got two here because I've got you know a couple buddies coming over, so I make sure we have enough meat because they're meatheads like me, and uh, we tend to go through a lot of this stuff. Plus, who doesn't like leftovers? Um, I know for me and many of you guys, uh, we tend to cook in bulk, you know, just because it's it's easier. You know, I'm a really busy guy, and a lot of times I just don't have time. I just don't have time to cook every single day. So if I have a bunch of meat. Uh, made up ahead of time It's gonna help out quite a bit. So now what I want to do is I take the Allegro shake it up and For two of these I'm gonna use quite a bit. I like to cover the whole thing I'll just use the whole bottle since it's two of them and then I'll, I usually I try to put it in two bags Double bag it just because uh, it tends to leak even Ziplocs as they say they don't leak all the time they leak so I'll double bag it just make sure it doesn't leak all over my fridge and I'll probably, you can marinate this from anywhere from 30 minutes to three hours. I'll probably do somewhere in between that. Probably somewhere around an hour or two. Um, I think it really, really nice and tender. So you got that, I'm gonna lay it on the side like that so you can see it gets the marinade all over it. And I'll probably, I'll probably flip it halfway through, but it's, it will be delicious. All right. So we've let the tenderloin marinate for about an hour, hour and a half. So now it's time to put it uh, in the pan, put it in the oven. I'm gonna cook it at 425 degrees. These things are pretty thick, so it takes some time to, to go, to penetrate all the way through. That's what she said. Um, sorry, for those who know me, she said jokes are kind of my thing. So we'll set it for an hour. Now a lot of people will ask me, okay Lane, well the marinade has macros in it. So how do you know how much went into you, what you're cooking, right? So now for me, I'm in the off season. It's only one gram of carb, one gram of protein per serving. There's 25 servings in here. So the most you're gonna get 25 grams of carbs on the entire thing, which obviously is not the case because you have some left over, okay? But if you really wanna be anal retentive or maybe you're using a little bit more calorie dense marinade that's gonna, that's gonna cause you to, to, to up the calories or whatever you're cooking. There's a way to do this. So the way to do this is 
I know that this bottle has 375 grams of liquid in it. So I'm gonna take the marinade that didn't go into the meat and weigh it. It says 375 grams. So we know that's not true. Uh, we know that there must have been some that got in there. So my guess is on the label for the bottle that they rounded up or they rounded down how much is actually in there. And so the point being though is very little got absorbed. So what did that actually equate to per serving? It's gonna be almost nothing, okay? So again, at least for this particular marinade and this particular meat, I really wouldn't worry about tracking it. Like I said, if something more viscous, then maybe you worry about it. But um, at least for this, no big deal. And now you have a tool of how to do it. So very easy, just know how much marinade you're putting on, weigh the amount of marinade you put on, weigh what's left over after it's done marinating, take the difference out, and then you'll know how much. All right guys, so obviously we've had it in there for an hour. We're gonna pull it out and we're going to, uh, we're gonna see if it's finished. It's about 160, so we're safe. Nice, lean pork tenderloin, and it will be delicious.